Hi guys, this is Xinhua Live. I'm Eric. And imagine this: if you are sitting in a car without a driver alone, along an endless road full of traffic, passengers, green lines, red lines, would you be afraid? For me, I bet yes. But today, actually, I'm feeling a little bit terrified right now because today we're gonna show you a driverless car. No. Bus, or better say, minibus. And trust me, we're gonna have to take a ride. So we're now here in Southeast University in East China's Jiangsu Province, and this university is set to be the first one in China to roll out driverless vehicle for teachers and students. And let's take a closer look. At this cute little thing. Hey, Dr. Zhuang. Yeah, Dr. Zhuang is one of the team members of this project. So, could could you please help us to understand a little bit about the feature and function of this vehicle? Sure.、Uh, let's walk around this vehicle. So, this vehicle is、uh, four meter length,、uh, two meter width, and uh, four uh, three point five meter. Height. So,、uh, as we can see, the vehicle, the front and the rear side are almost the same. So there are several sensors around this vehicle.、Uh, this sensor、uh, in this black box uh, uh, is uh, is a、uh, one is an one layer、uh, laser. So there are four、uh, one layer lasers around. The, Uh, this vehicle,、yeah. and uh, we ha also have a、uh, uh, uh, 16 layer、uh, lasers. So there are two at both both the front and the rear side.、Uh, at the same time, we so have. So what does it work?、Uh, they are responsible for detecting、uh, the obstacles. 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 Yes.、Uh, and、uh, we also have a four layer. A、uh, laser at the roof of this this vehicle.、Uh, it is responsible for、uh, mapping and、uh, locating. Mapping and locating. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like they are. It's a very technical、uh, car, and、uh, so all these、uh, technical instruments are going to help the vehicle to avoid the obstacles and ensure the safety, right? Yes. Yes.、Hmm. But actually, I'm still feel a little bit. Terrified.、Uh, don't worry. How about、uh, having a try? Having a try right、yeah. now? Yeah. Oh, come on. Let's go. Okay. You please. Okay. Let's go. Wow. One. Touch and it just open, close the door.、Yeah. So, Doctor Drun,、mm -hmm. um, how many people can this vehicle carry?、Uh, up to twelve people, six sitting and six standing. Six sitting and six standing. Yeah. Oh, actually, today it's a little bit hot, hot outside, but. Now I can I can feel the air conditioning is working, so、yeah. it's quite cozy. I feel cool. <laughs> yeah,、uh, that's great.、Mm, I'm curious about、uh, actually curious about the driverless、uh, car issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's can you tell us? Are there any differences between this minibus and the self-driving car made by? Like、uh, Tesla's or Uber.、Mm -hmm. uh, when you're talking about、uh, Tesla and、uh, Uber, yeah. So, do you know the driverless car of Tesla and、uh, Uber are different? So for、yeah. Tesla,、uh, it is an auto company. So they develop the product. So、uh, the product for the driverless is we call it the autopilot. So the autopilot、uh, actually is、uh, an advanced、uh, driver assistant system. 
So uh, we call it the ADAS. So for ADAS, it is just a driver assistant system. So it's not a, a driverless vehicle. But for the Uber, Uber yeah. uh, developed the driverless vehicle. It like the Google, Waymo, and the Baidu. Uh, they have similar technique techniques. So uh, they will uh, drive the vehicle uh, through some techniques like the uh, slang technology and the, uh, the high precision map like yeah. that. So our minibus is more similar like the products of Uber, right? Yes, uh, but the situation may be different. Uh, the minibus uh, will be applied to the uh, particular thing like the cam university campus yeah, university and uh, the in, in industrial park. And uh, at the same time, the minibus, as uh, uh, s the, the speed of the minibus will be low up to uh, for this car up to uh, 20 kilometers per hour. So for this situation, the minibus uh, can will be easier to implement. So it's much easier to uh, yes, apply yeah. the minibus here yes. on campus? Yes. Yes, very good. Oh. So how about, uh, actually, I'm curious, is it actual, actually automatic Oh, we can see two students here are waiting yeah, for yeah. the bus. Are they gonna take the bus? Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna interview uh -huh. her. Yeah. Hey, hello. Yeah, this is the Xinhua Agency, and uh, we're gonna do uh, broadcasting here. And so, what's your name? I'm Alex, nice You're to meet you. Yeah, Alex, where do you come from? I come from Russia. Then let's ha have a seat, please. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Pleasure. Is, is this your first time to take on this bus? Uh, not really. I have ridden, a bit. I have ridden <laughs> it for several times. Several times? Yeah. Oh. So you're bold enough to take the bus? Sure, I don't. Sh <laughs> it, does, it doesn't seem a dangerous stall. Uh, you see, the speed of it is like an average human uh, walking speed, and uh, uh, the design of it, uh, it's so cute and friendly that <laughs> um, I believe it's safe. By the way, where do you come from? I come from Russia. You come from Russia? Yeah. So yeah. Well, 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 which school do you, uh, are, you, are you in now? Uh, I'm a South East University student here. Yeah. <laughs> what, what major do you, are you learning uh, right now? Chinese language and literature. Uh -huh. So. Have uh, you come here before? No. Did you use my it? First time oh, I see. <laughs> you know, I'm totally terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also thrilled every time I s <laughs> get here. <laughs> so, uh, actually, uh, Doctor, I have a question. Uh, I, I'm going to ask you very carefully this question. Mm -hmm. How do this vehicle ensure the safety? Here. Okay, so uh, we have several sensors. I have introduced uh, you at the uh, when we uh, getting in the this vehicle. So with that that uh, layers and the sensors, we can detect uh, the uh, opposite structures. So when we detect it, uh, so the vehicle will s slow down or just uh, stop there. So, uh, to avoid uh, the obstructors. Mm -hmm. Do we have a, a like uh, operator on this? Uh, sure. Uh, we have uh, an operator here. Oh, you're the operator? Yes, yeah. I'm the op operator of this bus. Can you please tell us a little bit about how, uh, if we have an emergency, how could you stop the vehicle? Okay, if uh, emergency happens, we can push this button and uh, because there is no steering wheel in this vehicle, so if uh, we met some emergency events, we can use this remote control to operate the bus. But fortunately, I haven't, I haven't met these events 
yet. Yeah. I hope you will never come to this point. Yes. So now we're uh, at another stop now? Yeah, that's another stop. So you push the button and it just automatically closes the door. Pretty convenient. <laughs> so uh, we have four bus stations. Uh, in total, four bus stations. Sure. Yeah. yeah. How long does it take? Uh, the whole trip will take about uh, fifteen to twenty minutes. Fifteen to twenty minutes. Yeah. yeah. And how many routes do you have in, on this campus? Um, there are two roads. Two routes. Yeah, yeah. and uh, this is a circle road. Circle road. Yeah. yeah. So. I noticed that when we st when the vehicle stops at the uh, at, at one spot of the the station, it will just automatically come close to the street. And uh, uh, can you help us to uh, elaborate a little bit on that? Um, we have uh, uh, designed the load uh, in advance, yeah. so in the computer, so. Uh, the this the 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 past or the load has been uh, designed in this system, so the mid bus will just uh, follow the lo the path, and uh, uh, drive close to the to the, that side. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Alex. So I have another question for you. Uh, from your Ask personal experience. Do you think the bus will bring you any convenience? Surely. Uh, firstly, it will improve the mobility to children, elder, and disabled, disabled people. Yes. And uh, I'm sure it can free up our time and energy that we spend on driving usually. And uh, it's just uh, incredible <laughs> to see things happen. I Very feel like the future is coming. <laughs> Actually, I'm feeling safer now. <laughs> <laughs> much safer. Yeah, much safer. It's absolutely perfect for university campus because we haven't a traffic problem, but we still need some, some transportation to move around. Would you like to, are you willing to see this kind of minibus promoted elsewhere? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm waiting for it. <laughs> You're waiting for it, yeah. Oh, it's my stop. Oh, y it's your stop? It was nice to talk with you. Yeah, yeah, nice talking, nice talking. Have a nice day. Thank yeah. You. Okay, so, yeah, doctor. Please. So, this is the. So, we're going to take the last station. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what we will do in the future is. Uh, this this mini bus will just uh, follow the path uh, currently, mm -hmm. so it will not uh, bypass the ob obstructors, or uh, it cannot uh, drive itself to the our uh, garage. Yes. So in the future, we will uh, do more research and uh, make it more smarter. So like the automotive parking, automatic. Uh, uh, Planning and uh, uh, the bypassing the obstructors uh, automatically. Yeah. So in the future, the bus can, can totally control itself, right? Yeah. Like yes. uh, parking, like uh, avoiding the obstacles. Yeah. Right. In addition, we will uh, apply more technologies uh, into this platform, uh, like the 5G network. Uh, to connect uh, with other vehicles and uh, uh, like the wireless charging yes. uh, and uh, we will also change the 
uh, GPS to the Beidou navigation system. Yeah. So like that. So it's going to be much smarter than it right now, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So very, I'm looking forward to that, yeah. So how many members you, you guys have? Uh, we have uh, 20 members. 20 yeah. research team members. Yes, 20 yeah. research members. All, all of them are here in Southeast University? Yes. Yeah. And we have students involved in it? Uh, yeah, we have several master and uh, PhD students. Yes. very good because you know in China nowadays we're not promoting um, promoting the you know the uh, eco-friendly transportation system yeah. and smart cities smart campus the concepts I think that this vehicle just fitting to that concept yeah and I can see it can thrive and prosper in the near future yeah so now we're coming to the last station right yes mm. so uh, when uh, somebody uh, can't goes through the front of this vehicle yeah. the vehicle will be slowed down yeah we'll slow down its speed and uh, avoid it avoid it yes okay. Okay. so last question uh, I know this is the electric vehicle yeah so how long can the battery last uh, so it can drive uh, up to 12 hours 12 hours yes yeah even with the air conditioning and I uh, also, I, I yeah I, I think without a con air conditioning without air conditioning yeah. yeah so we have also we have a little bit of uh, warming details here these and USBs that yeah, can help the students who are have low batteries of their phones to charge their phone. Yes, that's very convenient and very young people yeah. may like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I. Now we have the. Uh, we, we I think we should get off right. Okay. Thank you. But I'm I'm not willing to get off right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really pleasant journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dr. Drong. Thank, thank you, you Dr. Drong. Yeah. Okay. And actually, uh, the the driverless vehicle in here in Southeast University is actually a part of China's wider efforts to promote the smart transportation system and smart cities. And now we can see that China is already great lighting the driverless vehicle testing. So, I think for me. I better accept it. Thank you.